Hello YouTube, welcome back uh, from my stoop. I'm bringing you another tobacco review. Someone asked me to do a, uh, a video on the vitamin N or uh, nicotine content of tobaccos. Um, it's still on my list but uh, I still need to you know, figure out uh, and, and get all my tobacco with nicotine and more and less nicotine you know, sorted out or uh, just get my, my head around all those topics or all those uh, tobaccos because um, it seems as if I do like the higher nicotine content tobaccos more and the fact that I don't inhale makes it more difficult because I don't get that kick that much uh, so yeah, so I'll, I'll still bring you that one. I'm bringing you a review today of uh, Samuel Garworth Balkan Flake. And uh, yeah, the tin says it is deliciously cool blend of, uh, of fine Virginias and Latakia. I don't know why they call it then the Balkan flake because it is then actually in my honest opinion more a English blend than Balkan uh, but yeah that that discussion is in any case very uh, fluent or what's the right word um, no, I don't know what the word is but uh, uh, it is very much you know, the, the debate whether a tobacco is a Balkan or not a Balkan, an English, uh, looks like it, 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 uh, it's more about the Latakia content and the Turkish Orientals and yeah, so I'm not going into that. Um, I think there's quite a few pages on the, on the web that can, uh, that can give us some more info on that. Um, so uh, yeah, to me this is just a very nice English blend with uh, with a good portion of um, of Latakia. So uh, yeah, let me give you some uh, some of my ideas on this one. I'm smoking it in my Zulu AS pipes. It is a, a Greek pipe maker. Uh, I've got two Zulus. The other one is from uh, Pitan Pau. This one uh, also very nice. What I actually did today is to smoke, in this one I've got the flakes rubbed out and, uh, and in my, my other pipe I've got the flakes folded. Now this is my new uh, Pit and Pole pipe which is a potato sack. Very nice, <laughs> nice form. and. Uh, so in this one I've got folded flakes and I'll give you the difference uh, as I go along with, with these. So let me just get to the, to the basics first. Um, the Balkan flake is a uh, dark flake of Prest Virginias and a generous helping of Latakia. Um, it is smoky and, uh, and cool. So the tin just says uh, deliciously cool. Uh, so yeah, so that is that is the uh, the general description of it. My review. Um, wait, let me first do let me first do the the row the the smell. Uh, not much left in this. Uh, in this uh, little tin of mine but as you can see they are flakes and uh, due to the age you can also see nicely caramelized by the sugar content These, this tin is about four years old oh, nice uh, again very nice smoky sweet mulasa chocolatey smell you will think that uh, that that i'm crazy or um, i don't know whether my 
my smell is being uh, biased or being affected by something but lately most of the Balkans that I that I do smoke and review uh, has got yeah I, I do maybe it's the, because of the age also but I do smell a lot of of the molasses and chocolatey uh, smells in them and I think also uh, the age does bring that maybe more to the for to the front so this is a very nice smoky moldy roasted coffee dark chocolate uh, and even even some 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 spiciness some cinnamon which I picked up in in the in the wrapped out flakes uh, tobacco yeah some some uh, some cinnamon is that something that I picked up there um, spiciness moldy smoky and uh, and that molasses slash dark chocolate roasted cocoa so those are the smells that I that I picked up as you can see very nice thick uh, smoke smoky dark chocolate definitely the dark chocolate taste uh, in the first I've just I've just started it so it's still in the first part of the bowl so there's definitely that smokiness and dark chocolate and um, also a creamy butterness which which I picked up uh, in the taste And uh, as you progress through the bowl, the spiciness comes a little bit more out uh, later in the bowl um, with, uh, with that smokiness. Now, the, the other one is, as I said, let's just uh, allow the, uh, the small Cessnas to pass by while I enjoy the bird life in my garden. Uh, this one is the the folded flakes. Um, more smokiness in this one. Also more more uh, spiciness and more difficult to pack I found uh, than the wrapped out uh, tobacco but it is true that uh, the smokes the the taste in the folded uh, flakes are more pronounced more, it's more more yeah more pronounced uh, uh, taste But over, overall, I, I enjoy the the wrapped out ones more than than uh, than the folded flakes. As you can see, more difficult to keep it alight also. Yeah, in, in this one, more spiciness, more of the cinnamon, more smokiness, less of the, of the chocolate, um, uh, uh, but still creamy and, and, and well-balanced. Um, yeah, so uh, friends, overall, uh, nice tobacco uh, for me, strength mild to medium. The uh, flavoring, obviously none, none detected in here. Taste medium and uh, room note, to me, pleasant. I like Gilatakia. 
and my wife didn't complain about it so I think it's pleasant maybe pleasant to tolerable rating this one I would not give it a four yet maybe maybe more later I might give it a three and a half maybe so it's not a bad tobacco uh, but uh, not yet a four to me as some of the others that I've that I've reviewed um, but really a nice tobacco and a nice English blend something that you could uh, smoke uh, you know with your morning coffee or something which would be very nice also Now this one, the rubbed out one, more balanced, uh, well balanced uh, <coughs> uh, uh, t taste. There's also some some faintly notes of a campfire or a, uh, maybe a cellar, you know, that moldiness that I mentioned earlier is definitely there. In, in the in the the smoke yeah so uh, friends on that note this is my uh, review of the Balkan flake very nice uh, and I'm also having it with a Glen Morangi and I must say the you know the smokiness and the uh, peatiness of of the whiskey of the, uh, is is also complementing each other very nice Mm. The, other, the other thing about the Glemorangi is got, oh yeah, very nice caramelish aftertaste, uh, the two together. But the nice thing about the Glemorangi is that it's got also the dark chocolate uh, notes in, in, uh, in the whiskey, which complements obviously the tobacco uh, also very nicely. We're having a long weekend, and I have uh, I had a, a hard week in terms of of doing some gardening and things like that. So I'm enjoying uh, I'm enjoying this time on my stoop a lot. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe and uh, yeah, enjoy your piping and your pipe experiences, your smoking, uh, and uh, yeah, see you later. Thank you. Bye bye.